Thanks for coming to speak with me, Traveler. I've been thinking about this place. Since we still don't know just what kind of danger we're up against, we can't afford to delay any longer. We have to find the Conqueror of Demons as soon as possible. Don't you think it's a strange coincidence that as soon as you told us about the Conqueror of Demons, we heard his voice in that place? It almost seems deliberate. As if something was trying to convince us that the Conqueror of Demons was there in order to lure us into the unknown. I have a theory, but I can't tell the others just yet. I don't want anyone to panic. Judging from the Conqueror of Demons' reactions, I think that he was somewhere else, but his voice and image were projected to our location. Is it possible that we've entered into a chaotic space? We're seeing things in people that shouldn't be here, even ghosts. And we don't feel hungry because the state of our bodies is suspended. It's as if time itself has stopped for us. If that's true, it means we've entered into a place where normal logic doesn't apply. When you put it all together, everything points towards one possibility. This is a place where time and space are thrown into chaos. And yet, if it's truly chaotic, how did we find our friend's voice even when we had no idea where he was? It doesn't make any sense. Unless this space wanted us to hear it. Which brings me to my next point. I also have a theory about our encounter with the Conqueror of Demons earlier. I submit that we didn't actually see the Conqueror of Demons. He was somewhere else. But his status was transmitted to us through a, some kind of mind-bending spatial alteration. Traveler, you said you saw the Abyss in that room, didn't you? At first glance, that door may seem like a prank. It shows you whatever you're afraid of, but if it manages to lure you inside, there's no way of knowing what might be in there. One minute, it's playing a joke to get you to lower your guard. The next, the danger is real, and it's trapped you. This space is a powerful opponent. It wants to use our minds against us. But I'm not gonna sit here and do nothing. Do you remember that small spatial rift next to the dissolving ground? I agree as well, and I also think the real Zhao is protected by different energies that are made up of those that are made up of those demons. It felt like spatial magic, but it seemed much more powerful than usual. When we saw that illusion of the Conqueror of Demons, it seemed like he wasn't expecting our spaces to intersect at all, and was even more surprised that we could hear and see him. I think that this face purposefully transmitted the Conqueror of Demons' voice to lure us into a trap. But I also think it didn't count on that spatial rift happening. In other words, the fact that we saw and spoke with the Conqueror of Demons was never part of its plan. Yes. Also, I had a good look around after coming back. I have a feeling that these chaotic spaces are constantly intersecting with each other, meaning that anything is possible. I think this gives us an opportunity. If the space creates phenomena meant to deceive us based on our imaginations, then we have to keep imagining, Traveler. If we try to stay calm and listen carefully, maybe, just maybe, we'll hear the Conqueror of Demons' voice again. <sighs> Can you feel that? Let me see. I think it's here. And... break! <sighs> I secretly learned Yelan's illusion-breaking method without her knowing. <laughs> really didn't expect that to work. The sound came from behind this illusion. Let's go in and take a look. It's getting clearer. Now, this is the chasm. What did we go through here? That battle fought years ago. What is he doing here? The one I had. Is that the front Aksha? The 
The voice is much clearer now. We're close. Conqueror of Demons, can you hear me? It's Yenfei. The Traveler and I are trying to find you. Uh, traveler? Yenfei? It worked. Are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. Listen to me. It's chaotic here. We may not be in the same space, but sometimes the sound can get through, which means these separate spaces intersect from time to time. Everything is chaotic here. No. The darkness that sullies my soul is harmful to mortals. Right now, we have more dangerous things to worry about than that. This space is using our urge to find you to lure us into traps. Without you here with us, our search for you could very well lead us into danger. So, you're in danger too? There was no need for you to search for me. But we're worried about you. And earlier, the Traveler was tricked into entering a dangerous place. How do we meet? Conqueror of Demons, can you find out where our voices are coming from? Find the spot where our voices are the clearest and try... something there. It might work. I see. The spaces may intersect amidst the chaos. By try something, do you mean... Hurry! If we miss this chance, we might not get another one. Hmm. Stand back! <sighs> I ain't gonna hold you, it's the fact that this is all you had to do. Let's get him back to the camp. <sighs> now we can avoid getting split up. A lot's happened here, but this wasn't just for our own safety. You're injured. We can't just leave you alone. It's just a flesh wound. <sighs> I'm fine. I shouldn't let myself be a burden to you. You're not a burden. Don't think that for one second. We need you. All of us. For our sake, please. Stay here, please. Fine. As you wish. You're injured. Get some rest. Everything else can wait. <sighs> All right. Cutscene, it didn't leave. Hmm. As expected, something strange is going on here. Oh, Traveler? You're both here. Great. I want to talk to you.
I also felt that the space was targeting us. But Yenfei managed to exploit its weakness. <laughs> Leave it to Yenfei to find a loophole. Based on what just happened, we can now confirm our suspicions that space and time function chaotically here. In addition, we must stay vigilant to avoid the traps set for us by this place. Now that we've found the Conqueror of Demons, the next thing we need to do is find a way out. I went back to the Domain again just now. Although I couldn't find a new route, it wasn't a completely fruitless trip. My clan has practiced magic for generations, and has created some catalysts that only we know how to use. I recognized something like one of those catalysts in the Domain. Unfortunately, it disappeared as soon as I approached it. I think so, but it's hard to distinguish between reality and illusion here. I can't be sure. Also, I am the only one out of all of us who could know what it would look like. To me, that confirms that this place really is reading our minds. Just like with that door. It's like it's alive, and testing us. By reading our minds and showing us what we want, it creates the reality that we want to be true. Everything it does is either to get us to lower our guard, or to wear us down. If that's the case, it can only have one goal. To trap us here until we die. What else could it be? We should prepare for the worst, but we mustn't give up. I've always known there were secrets hidden in the chasm, but even the Qixing have never heard about anything like this. Yelon, when we first ran into you, you said you had something to do. What were you referring to? <sighs> I... was looking for the truth behind the monster invasion from Conria. <sighs> Please keep everything I'm about to say to yourselves. No one else can know. Otherwise... We got it. <sighs> Five hundred years ago, a wave of dark beasts from Conria attacked the Seven Nations of Tevat. Naturally, Liyue was also affected. Under Rex Lapis's command, the Millilith fought hard to hold the front line near the chasm. But these were vicious beasts, and this was the most desperate battle Liu Ai had ever faced. At a critical moment, someone distracted the monsters and led them away. Just when all hope seemed lost, the tide turned. The Liu Ai army eventually won the war, but there were many who never returned. Two of my ancestors took part in that war, and the one who made it back went insane. Everything about it was strange. The current generation of Qixing knows very little about these events, and very few came back from the chasm alive. Finding out the truth has been a waiting game. The day the chasm was unsealed, I put in a request to be transferred here, so I could finally learn the truth of what happened back then. But this place we've ended up in, and the possibilities we're facing, it's all far more terrifying than I'd imagined. <sighs> we can't give up. Right now, our number one priority has to be getting out of here alive. Are you all right? You've suddenly gone quiet. It's not like you at all. Shh. We'll talk later. I'm just processing all the existing clues we have. Maybe the key to our escape is hidden in some detail I've overlooked? I have to go over everything again. All right. Well... Oh, don't worry. I won't write down anything that you told us about. No, I meant if you're going to analyze the facts, count me in.
Mm. Are you all right? You've suddenly gone quiet. It's not like you at all. Shh. We'll talk later. I'm just processing all the existing clues we- Maybe the key to- All right. Oh, don't worry. No, I meant if you're going to- Time to go. Ushi, looks like our little lavender melon has fallen asleep, huh? Do you think she's dreaming? Man, she looks wiped out. It's kind of hard to see her like this. I mean, most of the time she never shuts up. Aw, poor thing. And that little dude looks done in too. I'm kind of worried about him. Oh, I sleep like this when I'm in jail? <laughs> Good one. <laughs> I do slumber like a king. Traveler, when did you get here? We're going to save Zal for last. You don't look well. I guess things still haven't improved. It's okay. You don't have to go into all the details. <sighs> Sometimes I really envy the boss. My, oh my, that was a okay. game. To the next one, folks. Right now, gonna bust down my commissions and do the rest of this event. <laughs>